I'm Mr. Lee, and I'm here with my daughter, Eleanor. Say hello. We're going to be doing some art in the style of Emily Carr. Emily Carr lived out west, and they have some very big trees. So we're going to be able to draw trees today that are going to look like they're really, really high, and we're looking up at them. Okay, so we are going to be using markers for our drawing. We have an extra piece of paper underneath. Uh, just some scrap paper so that we don't uh, get the desk dirty and uh, you can use a pencil or a marker and then we're going to be coloring with a mixture of markers and uh, crayons for kind of an interesting artistic effect at the end. So Eleanor we're going to start with so imagine if this is the middle of the page we're going to be a little bit to the right Side near the top and put a dot and that's going to be our starting spot. Good. And when we make a line that goes down but not straight, it's going to angle out towards the corner just a little bit. Alright, and then we'll have a second line. And it's going to angle out a little bit more so that it's wider at the bottom than at the top. Good, and let's, uh, let's make another one over here, um, about there, and I'm going to do the same thing, just angle it out to the corner, and angle it out to the corner so that it's wider at the bottom than at the top. And these are going to be the main two trees in our, in our part today. And what we want to do to make the tree, we're just going to make a kind of a, a circle that with bumpy lines that goes all around. And uh, the interesting, the good thing about making trees is um, trees are all different and they have all sorts of different shapes. So uh, whatever shape you make, that's going to be good for your tree. And we'll make another one here. And we're going to make a little circle at the top of our thing. Yeah, so... Here's us looking up at the bottom of the trees. Um, so let's make some more trees. Two, and these ones you want them to be a little skinnier. And the tops of them are not going to be as circular. They'll stick up a little bit because they're not as much over our heads. There we go. And it looks like mine are going to have to overlap. That's okay. Good. And I think I'd like another one right here. There's a little bit of room for another tree. Good. So we have a few trees there, and we'll put a couple of tops of trees. So here, just some. A line that goes up and down like an upside down triangle and then let's put another one in here and another one in here good and maybe maybe uh, a little bit of a tree here ah, that looks excellent so here we have these tall trees that we're going to look up at so two um, color them. Artists like to mix colors. So I'm going to mix a few different markers and then I'm going to finish off my coloring with a crayon, a brown crayon. Because when you look at a, a tree, there's a lot of different shades and colors mixed together. And that's what we want to achieve. So we're going to start with a black. And I'm going to start more on one side than the other. Just a little bit of black at the top. And then as I come down, I'm going to have, uh, you can kind of scribbles a bit, uh, but more black near the bottom. And this is going to give the idea of, of, of the rough bark. And I'm going to take just um, some brown. I do the same thing but just maybe a little bit to the side of the black and maybe a little bit in between. So I'll have some dark black, some dark brown. And, yep. and 
Maybe I'm gonna throw a little bit of red in. I love mixing colors. So just some scribbles of red in here. And then as we go over this with a brown crayon here, you can use that one, Eleanor. And uh, I'll find some in my bucket of crayons. You're gonna get an interesting effect when you go over the marker with your crayon, like so. Good. Now, the trees, we're gonna color those in green. We'll use markers for that. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do some scribbly, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing with my uh, coloring up here. We'll use markers for most of it. And the edges, I'm gonna put a bit of yellow uh, as if the light is shining through the, the edges of the trees in the sun. And I got lots of scribbles in there. I'm gonna finish that off with a green crayon too. And for the sky, we're gonna do a similar kind of uh, scribble with marker and then finish it with crayons. We're gonna make a bit of a swirl um, or kind of a circular pattern. Now I'm gonna do with, with scribbles in the sky. There we go. There we go. And uh, we'll color over the sky with light blue and uh, we'll finish that off. We'll finish off the trees and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. We uh, have been coloring. We're up a little more than halfway done on the coloring. Um, look at it, Eleanor's colors are a little different than mine and uh, that's okay because Everyone's art is going to be different, and that's one thing that makes art fantastic. It's always unique. And uh, so what we did, we had the marker, and we just went over it with crayons. And uh, it's really starting to look like you're looking up at these trees. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, finish yours off. I'll put a picture. We'll put a picture of ours at the end. And uh, maybe you can upload and show your teacher what yours looks like. Have a great day.